time traveler who spent two years in the future 2749 tells all. Al Bielek discusses what he remembers from his six weeks spent in the year 2137 and two years he spent in 2749. One thing that I should stress is that many of the events he described as having happened, is happening now in our present time. The New World Order takeover and devastating climate change to name a few. The Montauk Project was a series of secret United States government projects conducted at Camp Hero or Montauk Air Force Station on Montauk, Long Island for the purpose of developing psychological warfare techniques and exotic research including time travel. Jacques Vallée describes allegations of the Montauk Project as an outgrowth of stories about the Philadelphia Experiment. Al describes what he remembers after he jumped off the USS Eldridge on August 13, 1943, date of the Philadelphia Experiment. He found himself with his brother, Duncan Cameron, in a hospital of the future for six weeks, recovering from radiation injuries. Middle. The medical system of that future used vibrational and light treatments. Middle. The TV programs were educational and news programs. Middle. That's where he noticed that Earth changes caused a lot of geographical changes that began in the beginning of 21st century until 2025. Middle. The coastlines and interior of the US and Europe were drastically different from the way they are now. Middle. The water level had risen and Florida was reduced to the panhandle only. Atlanta, Georgia was only three miles from the ocean. The Mississippi became an inland waterway. The Great Lakes became one large lake. Middle. The U.S. infrastructure had collapsed. The U.S. and Canada were no longer referred to as nations. Middle. A loose form of local martial law existed 2137. Middle. Central government was gone. Middle. Dot, the magnetic poles of the Earth started to shift but in that timeline an artificial pole structure was created to prevent the collapse and reversal of the magnetic poles. As a result, the poles did not flip. Middle. Dot, the worldwide population was reduced to 300 million. The US population was around 50 million. Middle. Dot, he claims that between 1954 to 2000 our government worked with the aliens acquiring technology, back and forward engineering all their technologies. Middle. Dot, the problems began between 2003 to 2005. The New World Order was taking over the planet but then a war developed. At some point a war broke out between the Russians, Chinese versus U.S. slash Europe. A number of U.S. cities were destroyed. The New World Order collapsed. Middle. Dot, the government has the technology to reduce radiation damage and nuclear waste within a few days, even now but refuses to use it for political reasons. In the future, the technology is used to clean up the radiation left from World War III. Middle. Dot, he then found himself, inexplicably, in the year 2749 for nearly two years. He talks about what he learned while he was there. Then he was taken back to 2137 to pick up Duncan, after which they were both taken to 1983. Middle. Dot, there were ground-based and floating cities. The floating cities could be moved to different parts of the Earth. Middle. Dot, the synthetic intelligence computer system was a computer system that ran everything. There was no government. It was a huge crystalline floating structure. It interviewed them telepathically. Middle. Dot, the structure of society was completely socialistic. The basic needs for survival were taken care of for everyone. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to us on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. You can visit us on www.therealthingmeme.webs.com.